Now we would like to discuss the Bessel function of the second kind uh, as we discussed in the last segment. We will need to discuss the second function as the solution for the Bessel equation when it's a case two or case three problem. And uh, let's look at the case two problem. If the two roots of the indicial equation are identical, that corresponds to uh, nu equal to zero. So the Bessel equation reduced to this form without nu in the last term. And uh, if this is the case two of the Frobenius series solution problem, then we have to approach the solution in this way. Notice genome will be the first solution. Y2 will be the second solution we want to find. And uh, the last term on the right is a series solution with a known capital ACE. If we use the Fubini series solution approach, we should be able to generate the solution in this long form. Notice Jena still appear and uh, with a long series solution. And uh, this long series solution can be written in a short format by introducing a constant h sub m. h sub m is defined in this way. And then <coughs> um, uh, we realize one more thing before we define the Bessel function of the second kind is that uh, Y2 and the Jena has to be two linearly independent functions. Therefore, we can linearly combine them, define a new function as the Bessel function of the second kind. So the way to do it is uh, linearly combine this uh, Y2 and the Jena in this format and then uh, by defining A and B separately as two constants, then we should be able to generate Bessel function of the second kind of order zero in this format. And then notice a <coughs> uh, couple of things. Number one, this will be the second half of the function, second half of the solution for the Bessel equation with nu equal to zero. Uh, number two, as this uh, x approach zero, you can tell this function j, uh, this function log function will become a dominant term so that uh, because log function become negative infinity. So gen sub now will approach negative infinity for small x. And then uh, for any arbitrary new value, we have to define separately for K3. The way to do it is by defining Bessel function of uh, uh, the second kind of order nu in this format. Um, then we define the second solution of Bessel function with uh, uh, integer value of nu as the limit of y sub nu. Uh, y sub nu is defined this way, and the y sub n is defined as a limit. Notice uh, j sub nu and j sub minus nu will be two linearly independent function 
because the log function involved in the deviation uh, and the assumption if uh, nu is not an integer. So uh, therefore, when we take the limit, when nu approach an integer value, this will be independent from linearly independent from j sub nu, j sub nu, uh, will be two linearly independent function. This can also be shown on the figure uh, as we discussed. Um, all the y function, Bessel function of the second kind, approach negative infinity when x is small. And the y now look like this. For large x values, it are also late. So is y1, y2, y3. And then finally, we can conclude that uh, y sub n, if we substitute what we discussed earlier in the last two or three slides, we see with the integer value of n, new value, uh, the second solution look like this. And uh, this will be the formal definition of y sub n. And then, <clears throat> as an important summary, we can say uh, Bessel function can be expressed in this way for any arbitrary value of nu. Uh, the first solution is j sub nu. Why Bessel function of the second kind um, of order nu can be the second solution for all the three cases. If we wish, we, if uh, nu is not an integer, we can, Bessel, we can use the Bessel function of the first kind to approach the solution. So this is the most important uh, way of representing the solution to Bessel equations. Now, uh, this concludes uh, my discussion of section 5.5. Um, in the next segment, we are going to discuss transformation of certain equations to Bessels, um, which will be useful later on for solving PDEs.